can't seem to get the words out right, you know, to make it sound as natural as possible because I'm sounding a bit robotic right now. Anyway. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm recording a little bit differently to how I'm used to. I'm trying to get used to the talking to the camera way of um, videoing. It's a bit, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Hopefully it comes out smoother than I imagine in my head. Today I'm doing another everyday makeup look. Um, this time I'm stripping it back a bit and I'm not gonna go full on as I did last time. And this one is just literally, if you need to just rush out the door and you wanna look half decent and you don't have that much time to put a full face on. If you haven't seen my other everyday makeup look yet, um, I'll link it in the description box below. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. So for this look, I'm not going to put on a lot of foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my primer and just pump my normal amounts, about two pumps of primer. I'm taking my Revolution Conceal and Define foundation in F13.7 and I'm just taking a dab of that and putting it on my hand like that. And then I'm going to take my other Conceal and Define foundation in 14.7. I've got my primer and I've got my two dots of foundation and I just mix that in. And you get like a mixture like that. So it's like a BB cream almost. So I just go ahead and, I know, nasty. Go ahead and <laughs> put that on your face. And once you're done with that, make sure to wipe your hands off with a wipe because your hands are going to be mucky and that is nasty. Doing the foundation like this cuts out so much time for me. I'm usually really short, short on time most of the time so I don't really have time to do my makeup and when I do want to put on a little bit of makeup this is exactly what I do. And I'm now taking my Concealing the Fine Concealer in 13.2. Just conceal my under eye a little bit. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender and my setting spray. Just spraying it like that. Taking some more of that concealer. I'm actually running out of that, but I bought some more. So that's all good. And I pull it on top of my eyelids as well. Dump that out. I feel like my top is making me look really orange. If it is, I'm gonna be really angry. And then I'm gonna take some of my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in medium. And then I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender, not my Beauty Blender, my Beauty Blender. Just set that. Concealer. Oh, I see a dry patch there. That's not funny. Mm. Going down the bridge of my nose as well. The next thing I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows a little bit. So I'm just taking this MUA brow pencil in brunette and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. And 
and then I'm going to take the spoolie end of it and just comb that out. My eyebrows are jacked up. I'm just taking a cotton bud and just trying to clean up a little bit. But look, all my eyebrows are growing out there and oh. And that looks okay to me. Remember, your eyebrows are cousins. Wait, is it cousins, not sisters? I don't know. My eyebrows are never symmetrical anyway. My face isn't symmetrical either, so it matches. This is a collection mascara in clear that I'm using to set my eyebrows. Swipe them up first and then around. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, these eyebrows are not even funny anyways moving on the next thing i do is i just swipe off the setting powder and then next i'm going to take my covergirl in ebony bronze and i'm just gonna place that in my contour line and on my cheeks a little bit i'm not going to use a blush i'm just going to use this and just swirl it into my face. Rosy up the face a little bit. Looks rosy enough to me. Make sure you blend in your bronzer because sometimes it can leave like harsh lines and that's not cute. Remove some with double chin. This t-shirt is really bothering me. <laughs> it's really reflecting back on my skin a lot. And for the eyes, I'm gonna use this palette that I'm using as a mirror today and my favorite palette from um i heart revolution and ouch, has this ever happened to you it really hurts and i'm really angry because look at my nails they're growing and then uh. anyways so for the eyelids so i'm going to take this color here it's called brazen and i'm just going to put it in my crease Just in my crease and on the outside there. Then I'm going to take the colour French Girls and place that in the middle of my eyelid. Ooh, very pigmented. I should have dusted them off to be honest, but what can you do? You don't really need to do too much with the eyes really. And then I'm taking the color Secret and putting that on my brow bone. And just going back with that crease brush just to blend it out a bit more. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put some eyeliner on. Um, just for the rest of my face, I'm going to use, I should have put this on um, before I put the bronzer on actually, but I'm going to take some of my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark and I'm just going to swirl my brush in that and then just place it that area there on my chin and my neck and my forehead as well. Let me under that eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Revolution Fix Spray and just spray my face. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm going to take my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I love this mascara. I actually need to get some more. So yeah, I'm just going to talk my eyelid a little bit like that because I find it easier. I know you shouldn't stretch your eye area, but this is what you got to do. on my eyelid how annoying and yes mm -hmm -hmm. perfect then I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes just a little bit and that's that and then for the lips well, actually I can put a little bit of highlighter on I've got time for that Mm -hmm. because highlight makes everything better so i'm just gonna take my revolution vivid baked bronzer in rock on world i'm just gonna take a little bit of that there's always time for highlighter Because I'm recording how I'm doing it, I'm taking more time. But this is literally a quick 10 minute makeup in the morning look. Just put your makeup on and get out of the house kind of look. <laughs> but you, it still looks semi decent. And then lastly, I go in with the lips. First, I'm going to moisturize my lips because they're hella dry. Just a little bit. Mm hmm. Um, off the excess so i'm gonna take the nyx butter gloss in ginger snap i'm just gonna put that on my lips this is quite of a dark pinky color um it's a nice everyday color i'm gonna take some of this revolution lip top bar in exquisite is it? Yeah. And just pop that on top. Let's clean up a little bit. Yes, yeah, so. This is what we're looking like. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cute, to be honest. Got a little bit of highlight, a little bit of bronzing. Don't look like I just rolled out of bed and, you know, look alive. <laughs> so yeah, this makeup look is perfect if you don't have a lot of time and you still wanna look a little bit glammed up. It shouldn't take you longer than 15 minutes. Let me know in the comments below if you try it or if you have any questions or if I've missed out any information from the video. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let me know in the comments below if... This is the makeup that I usually wear. I've said that already. What to do, what to do, what to do.